watch the world for america right now as we are speaking the actors are on strike actors are on strike america or the actors doctors are on strike everybody is striking all over the world our own nlc is telling us to to be patient american actors where they enjoy they, they collect millions they are striking right now england doctors train workers delivery men you everybody on strike that this thing life is too hard jack ma go and listen now he's not talking about investment anymore and how we nigerians will be convinced by our elites to be praying for foreign investments in our country we are fighting to the yard themselves. Uh, when PDP was there, there was also and so amount of foreign investment. When this person was there, there was also so and so amount of foreign investment. By the mere definition of it, by the mere definition of the word investment, investment is the opposite of development. Nigerians don't need investment. What we need is development and development is the opposite of investment ishokuna she ishokuna go and tell your lecturer tell your political science lecturer tell your economist lecturer for nigeria tell your governors the presidency tell everybody say she could say nigeria don't need investment because investment is the opposite of development. It is a capitalist lie that any country need any kind of investment, both foreign and local, to develop. You don't need investment. By the mere definition of investment, investment means I want to put one million and make ten. If I if you put one million somewhere and you make one million back it is bad investment by the mere definition of investment by the mere definition of it investment means to put the minimum you can put inside something and extract the maximum from it i repeat investment means to put the minimum the barest minimum in something and extract from that thing, the maximum. So we don't need investment in Africa. We don't need any kind of extraction anymore. What we need is selfless development, selflessness, which will lead to development. We need the people that have been giving all the wealth of our country to this. This is not about making profit development you put it there you know you'll never see it again no government should be talking about its people in terms of investment human beings are not commodity but i don't understand that in capitalism in the business of capitalism we african people were once commodity you see these are the things they let us know for school They don't let us know in university, in primary in school you go to in Africa. We don't understand. They don't remind us that in this capitalism that we are all claiming to be a part of, capitalist with no capital. How can you be a capitalist if you don't have capital? Eh? Nigeria is what in eh, I see the talk. They never re waiting Okunje well I say she do that time. Rebasing of the economy. They rebase economy, they calculate the whole economy of Nigeria for 2011. I'll be 2014, sorry. They see the whole Nigeria. That time when Naira still be 150 to 1 dollar. That time was 150 to 1. Hmm? They say the whole Nigeria was 505 billion dollar. Now that Nigeria is 800 and what to 1 dollar now. That means it has, that 500 has reduced to maybe the whole Nigeria is now maybe 70 billion dollars. The whole Nigeria combined. 
70 billion. That's why they say some of them billionaires they lose 12 million, 12 billion in one day, 4 billion in one day. Yepa, yepa, bobe, voila. Now that time, I suppose they fear when they say Dangote lose 4 billion dollars in one day, where does they say what get that money back for? They say, no increased price of everything. What about eh? My remaining, the remaining 10 billion is not enough. I need my money to go back to 25 billion. <laughs> Nigeria was 505 billion. Do you know what Apple company, just Apple, one company in America, Apple. Do you know what Apple is worth? 1 trillion, 1.7 trillion dollar. That's three Nigeria in 2015. Three Nigeria. Mm? Three Nigeria is only Apple. Apple alone is three Nigeria. We never had Microsoft. We never had Amazon. We never had Tesla, Google. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we never had all those ones. I said that be capitalists. Toa! Who dash you capitalists? You are commodity. Commodity. We as African people, our experience in capitalism, that's why when I go to follow all these people, they blow big, big grammar, they talk like, say, you are like them, you are the same, you started from the same place in this system. You are once commodity. Your, your experiences in this system is completely different from the experiences of Indians, from the experiences of uh, anybody else in this system. Your experience is completely different because you are commodity. You gone go are goods. So the system has never seen us more than that. That's why in our life today, anything we don't know if commodify about Africans is not valuable. Anything that cannot be commodified is not valuable to this system. Kalil, somebody, K, 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 Kalil, Kalil say Apple valuation is three trillion. Where me? The last time I look is one point seven trillion. So if now if it's three trillion, where six Nigeria of twenty fourteen six. So how can you follow people like that? How can people like that be defining your existence to you? How can people like that be telling you what you you need to do when you know very well? So what do we mean? All the candidates you are following, what are they talking about? Foreign investment. Foreign investment. Foreign investment. For, many Europeans should come and put a little and take a lot. I mean, which investor will not want to take triple his money? If you put one million in a business, I repeat, if you put one million naira in a business and you make one million naira back, that's bad investment. Now, in development, you can put 50 billion and you will not see the money again. In terms of liquid cash, the only uh, way you see the money is in the development of your country, in the upliftment of your people. That is what is called redistribution of wealth. Because the neoliberal policies that our politicians follow is that if you invest all our nation, country resources, if you give all our country's wealth to all these masters of industries, all these rich, rich billionaires, that they will use the money to develop our country but not lie. Instead, they use it to send their children to countries that have developed themselves. Send their children to school there. Send their, when they are sick, they go to hospital there. And they neglect the development of their own country. The fact that the elites of Nigeria, both business and political, are only willing to invest in Nigeria is also a shame. You cannot invest in development. It's a lie. There's no, there's no such thing. You want to invest in your development. It's a lie. 
Investment is business. And we don't need investment in Africa. What we need in Africa is development. Tushel007 asks a very important question. She said, what's the difference between socialism and communism? Very simple. Communism is European style socialism. Communism is European style socialism. And if you have followed the great late Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, he described scientific African socialism. Scientific African socialism. Because I always say to people, homelessness, for example, in Africa, make person they may not get house, is less than 100 years old here. It came with colonialism. Homelessness came with colonialism. If you are my aid mate, me, I'm 40 now, your grandfather is a homeowner. Hardly any grandfather here within my own generation will not be homeowner. Somebody here say Cuba people have no food. What kind of lie is this? How can you say Cuba people have no food? Cuba people have Cuban people have no luxury items. Yes, that's the only thing you can say. But Cubans have all the basic necessities that they need to exist. In fact, during COVID, Cuba was sending doctors all over the world for free to treat them. Send doctors to Nigeria, send doctors to Spain. Cuba was the country that saved the world. They have more doctors than anybody else in Cuba. Cubans have the number one healthcare in the world. Nobody is healthier than Cuban people. Cuban people eat where? Cuban people have free education. Cuban people are not homeless. Yes, they don't drink, they don't have money for champagne. They're not, they're not popping champagne. But we must decide too in Africa. Do we want champagne for a few or clean water for all? Because everybody in Cuba is drinking water. These are the lies that they tell you in the news. Cuba people don't have food. Cuba people don't have food. Who told you that? Who told you that um, Cuban people don't have food? What kind of dirty lie is that? Come on, stop listening. Go, go and investigate where. Stop listening to the rubbish that they tell you on CNN so that you, your country doesn't begin to think properly. Because a few of you can enter, less than 4% of Africans can afford this stupid lifestyle that you put. In fact, out of that 4%, 2%, 2 3% of you are faking it. Apparently, 3%. Of you are faking it only one percent can really afford that lifestyle the rest of you are just feeling among and go drink champagne for club so gary for house now go to drive g wagon with three thousand naira foil inside and drive g wagon for two years sell on. move house every six months We must decide in Africa, champagne for a few or clean drinking water for all. That was Thomas Sankara. Now that's why they killed him. Because instead of using his country's money to drink champagne that his country does not make, he decided to educate his people. Literacy, literacy went up in Burkina Faso by 74% in less than two years under, under Thomas Sankara. Women's rights were established free education, water to drink, good transport system, building the roads for the people. That's in Nigeria in 2023, building of roads is still rocket science. Building roads. Do you know how many engineers are graduated out of Nigerian universities every year that we still need oh, to come and build roads? Why? So let's keep deceiving ourselves. Please believe in generational cause. Believe in it. Forget the generational criminals. Forget the generational criminality. Forget the generational crimes. Dwell on generational cause. 
that your people are generationally cursed in your day. Forget slavery and colonialism. Be talking about moral police. And eh, black people are behaving like this, black people are behaving like that. Be there. Be there, be there thinking that Obi is better than Tinubu. Be there. They play. Don't understand the system that is governing your life and dragging you back. They that they play, they talk nonsense, be regurgitating the words of the people that hate you. Be regurgitating the words of the people that hate you. Be regurgitating their words. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. You know, the funny thing is that every generation thinks like this in Africa. You know, where they, they go use you, use you, go say you go make her, you go make her, you go make her, you go make her. By the time you are 50, 55, 60, you can say, oh, you fall back to village, new set go enter. How many of them don't move? How many of them, our, our senior brothers, they don't go village? You go village last, last now. You go back village. When they suck you dry, all your life finish. You go back village, go turn to drunkard there. They, they do any half for road. The new sets will trunk in. Mona be Mona continue to do like Mumu. Mona continue. So go on, believe in your generational cause, your mass delusions that we blaming things that have no impact on what is wrong with us. I repeat, is it when they remove subsidy that people stop being able to afford food? And that people uh, stop being exactly. Nigerians have always been on unable to afford food even for a price at 160 nigerians were unable to afford it we are strong we are struggling under that but you educated nigerians you so-called professors analysts you will still come on on tv you go and you will lie to the people you will make excuses you will justify the NLC go there, they go they blow big big grammar, they lie up and down the place. They threaten just so that they can get their own share. Once they get their share again, they'll come back with the skills. Hey, let's give them a chance. Let's see what they're there. And just like that, everybody will keep quiet. They say they want to increase minimum wage to 200000 Watch. I hope they do that. You see another change in the Nigerian worker. Forgetting that only 4% of Nigerians are formally employed. Only 4% of Nigerians are formally employed. Those 4% now would be happy to they won't increase their salary to minimum wage, 200,000. How about your remaining brothers and sisters? We know their minimum wage. Is your minimum wage now justification for our bad road, for no water, for high food prices? Put yourself in your brother's shoe before it's too late to... I, I keep repeating to you people because on the day of reckoning <laughs> journalists you go one lie say eh I'm not in government now why are you attacking me I didn't speak. but you collect money take right yeah yeah writing I be banker you the launder money you not be your bank they from London professor not be the sell grades and brings me back to what I've been telling young people in Nigeria It's the same spirit when I take go university, when I take hate test and exam. You know? You hate test, you know? So any lecturer who wanna get for university, when they collect bribe, now they like that lecturer. Because he's making you do your work. That one where they collect bribe, where they spoil the school, so that you can go and party, you can go and drink and dance. Now I go like, eh, lecturer this, eh, and I saw the guy. Your lecturer this is a solid guy. Continue it. Where you carry us rich, you go carry us rich. Where you carry us rich, you go carry us rich. And I've seen one obedient here again. A Cisco to come with their usual propaganda against what is the solution? What is the solution? The solution is to stop following the elite of Nigeria. 
Stop following capitalism. Become a socialist. Build socialist foundations. Reorientate your mind. Reeducate yourself. And then join the movement of the people. At MOP Center. Make a right hand for now. At MOP Center. Because every day we talk about the solutions. But because the solution does not fit your own view of what you how you want to be because you say just want to be successful you can pepper us that's it we give solutions every day i give solutions every day mop we are educating we are discussing we are trying to show people a new way a new system and i'm saying organize become a part of something but because you don't want just the way you don't like to do tests in university just the way you don't like to do your exam. You want to shortcut. You are looking for shortcuts to development. Not knowing that nobody can develop this country for you except you yourself. And there's no money to be shared there. Now you go spend your money, your resources, go meetings, sit down there, pay attention. Then still go out and do the work that you have been assigned by your organization. To start wrestling political power away from your oppressor. You don't want to do that. You want to be in the club. And let somebody else be doing the work of development for you. So if I'm not giving you a solution, give me 500 million naira. Let me go and do this for you. And do that. Hey. Now need a year solution for that one. <coughs> the money won't have donate last. They know if you do account too. They can't do account for you. The money won't have donate last. They can't do account for you. Ooh. 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 They can't do accounts. They can't do accounts. Yeah, yeah, asking me what is the solution. Nadir, they ask me solution. Join movement of the people. Join movement of the people. Uh -huh. First, attend meetings. Be a part of something. The money when I donate. They know if you do accounts. How can they do account for you when you didn't go to meeting to even know where your money was going in the first place? You want to do de uh, development by proxy. You want to be free by proxy. You want to sit down in your house watching Pornhub. <laughs> watching Pornhub while she is fixing Nigeria for you or day or day or day. <laughs> <laughs> or day Stavo Vibe said we have uh, online classes for MOP yes not only do we have online class we have a uh, physical class physical meeting physical classes everything nine day we are trying our best but where are the people where are they to do the work for let and I've told everybody in MOP, we will not take that shortcut. Ah, she, let's go and look for people and pay them so that they can do the work for us in those. She, she, if we no no say that the work will gas do be that. Dying. We create the platform, we put it there until you people are ready to grab the man too by yourself. Eh? So we know we are going together. That says on a Nigerian university. I'll not be lecturer when I feel bribe. You can't bribe me. You must do your test. You must do your exam. You must know the thing that we are talking about. Only fans. We will let only fans subscription. Only fans subscription, but no political membership card. Eh? Should be ashamed. Anybody with Netflix, only fans, uh, Amazon Prime, only subscription. But you have no political card that you are paying membership in your own country for your own development. You don't have card, but you have for uh, uh, Netflix, for every Oyibo company, any Oyibo company, Oyibo open any company, you have subscription. You are paying money there, but for your own development and your own betterment, you have no card, no subscription, no membership. Shame, 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 shame. Shame on you. Shame on you.
Anyway, I get show tomorrow. I, I get show for for Czech Republic. I don't even know the city itself. We have, I have a show tomorrow here. But I did Poland. From Poland, I go drive, go Czech Republic. So no come and meet me here to ask me uh, 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 what's the solution? We don't have political membership card. First of all, go and get membership card of one political. It doesn't have to be MOP. Go and join something first. Carry yourself and join something. And be going to meetings. Focus yourself. Bojukro ni be di. Bojukro ni be onion. Bojukro ni be OT. Bojukro ni the drugs 24 hours a day. You are an African. You are so much more. Yes, there's time for all of that. And at least all most of this, you have all night. Oh, but by the time you do it all night, there's no power during the day. Yeah? Could they see me Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Constantly, I don't understand repeating the same thing. Okay, I understand people in their twenties. You know, I posted something today. Let the kids breathe. Let the kids breathe. I'm not talking about the young children here in their 20s. Let these 20-year-olds, let them breathe. Give them space in the club. Give them space in the parties. Eh? And young cool. And you know one bear. 45, 38, 37, 50, 55, 60. And my two die no more. And my die go white. Crony be boy. And my die go white. Crony be ruin. And my shall one bear. Let the kids breathe. Let the kids breathe. As now they chasing their girlfriends, chasing their boyfriends. Hey, check out see me. Hey, we are in every space with them, except the space you are supposed to occupy, the space of national building. Ah, the space of nation building. You are never there. In the space of national conversations, you are never there. In the space of political conversation. Uh, only once six months in every four years and uh, when the last six months to election and my uncle Rani jadi now come pack myself outside six months to election making noise up and down the place she with the nini with the nini let the kids breathe let the kids breathe ah let them breathe <laughs> I don't know how I say these things with a straight face. <laughs> I swear that you got a laugh inside. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Let the kids breathe. Let them breathe. 